Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're having a good weekend. Last weekend, I bought two new lenses from my Sony a7 III. I bought the Sony 90 millimeter macro lens right here. This is a beauty. And I also bought the 70 to 200 zoom lens right here. These are really, really nice lenses. So when I got these in the mail and I, and I unboxed them, which I'll link those videos at the end, I noticed there's a whole bunch of buttons on the side. I had no idea what these do. You can see them right over here. We have this button under the G. We have this switch here and this switch here. And then the focus ring right here. Um, I read the manual. And I'm just going to go really quickly and explain as simple as possible what they do. So the first button is the focus hold right here under the G. The 90 millimeter has one. What this does is if you're shooting in automatic focus and you have your finger on the button and you half press and you're in focus with your other hand, you could just press this button and while you're holding this release your shutter button and it'll keep the focus. That's pretty much what it does. Simple. Hence the name, the focus hold button. The other switch on here is the focus range setting. The 90 millimeter option has one notch that says full, one notch that's 0.5 meters to infinity, and then another notch that's 0.28 meters to 0.5 meters. And what that means is that's the range that you're telling the lens you want to focus at. If you're on full, then you'll be able to focus from the minimum focal length to infinity, everything in between. If you put the notch on 0.5 meters to infinity, that means your lens will not focus on anything closer than 0.5 meters. It'll focus on 0.5 to infinity. And then the last setting, which is 0.28 to 0.5 meters means the same thing. You're telling your lens you only want to focus within 0.28 meters and 0.5 meters. So since this is a macro lens, if you're getting really close to a subject, you'd probably want to try out that um, setting because you're not zooming, you know, you're not looking for landscape. You're literally focusing on say that flower or whatever little animal like a snail or a worm or something that you're trying to get really close to. And that's what that setting is for. The next button is the optical steady shot on and off right here. And that again is pretty straightforward. If it's on, it's telling the lens that your steady shot stabilization is on and it kind of helps with shaking. You know, if you're not perfectly still, it helps out. If you turn it off, you're not going to get that. So that's pretty straightforward. The last thing that was confusing to me, and it took me a little while, even after reading the manual, was how to switch from autofocus to manual focus. Now, most Canon cameras and Sony cameras, those are the only two I use, they usually have a button that just says AF, MF, and you just flick it, right? This one has a ring. So I'll show a picture, and it's right here. You see, I could twist it right right now it's in autofocus so you might not be able to see these numbers right here but this ring actually goes up and down so right now it's up it's in autofocus if i click it down hopefully you could catch this now it's in manual focus and now you'll see this bottom move when i turn so that took me a couple of seconds to find and then you pop it right back up and you're right back into autofocus so that is pretty much all the buttons on the 90 millimeter macro lens. It is the focus hold button, the focus range setting, the steady shot, and how to switch it from autofocus to manual focus. And now we'll go through the 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. It has pretty much the same features, but um, a little bit different. So. This also has the focus hold button that I told you in, about in the 90 millimeter. So it works the exact same way. You could release your, your shutter finger and hold the focus hold buttons to hold the focus. The zoom lens has three of them. So it still has the button under the G, but if you turn, there's another one right on the bottom 
and then there's another button right on top. And that's pretty much just in case if you're shooting, you know, portrait mode, your thumb is going to be on the G already, so you're right there. If you're going to shoot in landscape, now you'll be able to reach the one on the top, but if you move it towards the other way, you'll be able to reach the button on the bottom. So it has three focus hold buttons. The next portion is the autofocus manual focus. Now how I said on the 90, it's the ring up and down. The zoom lens is just standard. It just has the regular autofocus manual focus switch. So AF is auto, MF is manual, and it's standard. Switch it back and forth. It doesn't have the ring that pops up and down. This also has a focus range um, setting button, but it only has two options on this one. This one has full, and then it has three meters to infinity. And it's the same deal as a 90 millimeter. If I have it set on full like I do right now, it means I'm focusing at the full focal range of this lens. If I click it to three meters to infinity, it means I'll be able to focus on anything from three meters to infinity, nothing closer than three meters. It also has optical steady shot standard on and off, just like the 90 millimeter. And like I said, it just is basically image stabilization. If it's on, it'll you know help you with the shakes. And if it's off, it won't. But this has a second setting that goes with it. It just says mode. You can see right there, mode one and mode two. Mode one is standard. It's kind of like on the 90 if you have it on. On would be, for this camera, on mode one, just stabilization. But if you switch it to mode two, that gives it better stabilization for panning. So if you are, I don't know, you're out and you're taking some pictures of like deer and you see a deer out there, you got it. You probably want to put it on number two because if it's running, you're going to have to, you know, pan with it and it'll help you um, stabilize your image going, you know, left and right uh, while you pan. And that's pretty much it. I, I think I explained it as simple as possible, but I'll leave some of the notes that I took in the, um, the comments below um, so you could read it as well as hear it. I'll link where I purchased each of these lenses. And I really love these lenses. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to, to take some pictures, but these are beautiful. The best lenses, like I said, that I've ever had. So um, I'm gonna take them out fairly soon to, to test them out. I like to take pictures of ducks, so I'll be able to practice with this. And then maybe I'll take some portraits and some macro shots with the 90 millimeter macro and um, we'll see how they come out. There's a whole bunch of other settings that go with it, but those are pretty much all the buttons that are on these two lenses. If you have any other questions, I didn't explain it fully. Maybe you need a little more help. Feel free to ask me some questions below. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Like I said, I'll leave the link for both lenses in the description below and a link to all my social media. You can find me on Twitter at strange177a. You can find me on Instagram at 31 Photography, and I should have something on the bottom showing that. So please like, subscribe, comment, any pointers, any questions, and I'll be, I'll be happy to answer those for you when I get a chance. So I'll be posting this one hopefully in a couple of days. And until then, I hope you guys have a nice weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.